Hello, today is the first in a two-part video series on cutting barrel dovetails for lugs or sights. These are go in the bottom of your barrel and are then pinned to the gun. And then your sights are attached in a similar way in a traditional long rifle. So the first step is to take your barrel and you know, you're holding in a vise, but you want to lay it out on the stock to make sure when you mark it that it's not interfering with your ramrod thimble or your nose cap. After you do that and you have a mark on your barrel, you want to come through and in that area you want to mark it up with sharpie or if you have like dicum bluing that would work fine too probably better and get that area and then you want to take your lug and you want to look and set your width now i'm not going to go as deep as this lug is because that's that would be too deep but set my width my thickness kind of like that I can place this on here Let's put a small mark if you don't have a set of dials you can just measure it with a rule. Um, but if you're building muzzle loaders, I strongly suggest getting a set of dial calibers. They are very useful. But then you take a straight edge. Actually, I'm going to use a square. It's a swamp barrel, so it won't be perfect. But And go up to my line. And... Draw two straight edges. But yeah, if you're building guns, a set of dial calibers or digital is definitely worth the money. You don't need to go out and spend the money on a set of starrets. I mean, I have some starrets, but these are a set of grizzlies that work fine. You can probably, for less than $40, get something usable for gun building or for muzzleloader building. So then after I get my lines, I'm going to take a hacksaw and I'm going to start making a series of cuts, making sure I stay square. I don't need to go too deep. I'm actually going to sharpie this side and just do a line about the thickness of that sharpie line. So about about fifty thousandths is about the depth you want to be. You don't want to go much deeper than that. just to get some of that material out and then I'm going to go back in with a file and start getting some of that material away
kind of eyeball these edges. Square it up. I'm going to start with the triangle file. Even it up. I think I'm just going to go a hair deeper. And you just want to pretty much start it by filing that square slot out. And once you get it like that, um, I look plenty deep. Then you want to start cutting the dovetails themselves. Now you want to take your file, a triangular shaped file this like this, 60 degrees. You want to take a stone and a grinder and get the teeth off one side that way it's not cutting and it also makes this corner a little bit sharper so then what you do is just start cutting that edge So I got a nice square corner. And then after that I'm going to look at it and see how much more I have to go. Um, and actually use my measuring equipment and this is just shy of half an inch or about half an inch. I can see looking at it that I have a good bit of a ways to go. So like I said, you have your stone side to the bottom. You just keep going. I'm gonna take a look. Okay, I'm gonna start on the other side. I was getting close. So something I'm gonna try. Um this is something that there's evidence of originals that they actually used a chisel to do the corners.
So I'm just going to take a cold chisel. And go in there and cut the corner. And it's almost wanting to go. I'm going to file a little bit more. And this is a lot of guessing and checking at this stage. File a little bit. Maybe chisel a little bit. Making, doing your best to keep things square and flat. Okay, that's starting to go in, so I'm just going to go through. Tap each side with the cold chisel. Now, being brass... It's pretty darn soft. So I should be able to take it and carefully using a punch. And now, what I can do with my dials, or like I said, a rule you can measure that flat and then mark your center. But I can measure this. This is um, three thirty-two. So half of thirty-two is sixteen. One fifty plus. 16 is 50, 66. So, yeah, so I did the math. So, 166 is my center. So then I can punch that in until my tab, this little piece here, is centered up to the flat, which it looks pretty darn good like I said a set of dials is definite is something I cannot encourage you more to buy and what I'm going to do is take my cold chisel again just slightly peen the edges Making it very secure. And then I want to go through and mill out the sides. Actually, you can probably the easiest thing to do would be a carefully take your hacksaw and You know, there's not a fast way to do this, but I, mean, I think you get the idea you want to then file the sides flush.
Also, up here, you want to file it flush with the barrel. By just taking a file and filing the edge. Mm-hmm. 